Uh, I'm James Booth, the Patricia and Rhodes Hart Professor in the Department of Psychology and Human Development. I guess you'd call my field of study educational neuroscience. Uh, so what MRI allows you to do, look non-invasively in the brain so we can peer inside the brain and look how it was involved in various cognitive tasks. So I focus on reading, I focus on math, I focus on uh, executive function, I focus on language development. So for example, you know, in math versus reading, you know, are there mechanisms that are shared between the two areas or are there mechanisms that are unique? How do they change developmentally and how do they break down in the case of disability? Uh, we have a current project that's looking at language development and language impairment. So uh, we have on the team expertise in the basic science of language development. We have people on the team who have expertise, clinical expertise on language impairment. We have people on the team with expertise in um, neuroimaging or cognitive neuroscience of language. We have people on the team with expertise in uh, longitudinal growth models. So you put all those different teams together and it allows you to answer kind of um, interesting questions that you wouldn't be able to answer without those diverse perspectives. I guess one of the primary questions we're asking is whether we can use neuroimages to predict later development of um, language and reading. So we study preschoolers who haven't started to read much and uh, we give them a variety of behavioral measures and we give them a variety of neuroimaging measures uh, and then we follow them longitudinally. So the idea is to see whether we can use both behavioral and neuroimaging measures to predict uh, trajectories of language and reading development. So can we identify early on who's likely to struggle uh, with uh, learning how to read and can we use that information to intervene early.